Finding and retaining the best talent is key to maintaining a successful enterprise. Today's Army is faced with a task of maintaining its competitive edge with a smaller pool of eligible recruits. All of the services to include the Army are in a quest for quality. I do think as the Army draws down, um, it does give us the flexibility as a nation, as an Army, to enhance the quality. The path to success falls to the recruiting command at Fort Knox, Kentucky, and they are in the unique position to shape the future of the force. We can't just put anybody in. We gotta make the screening, making sure the individuals qualify. There's also rules and regulation, not everybody can join the Army. You don't necessarily have to have all the knowledge. I think the biggest thing is the commitment and upholding the standard. The Army is seeking to discover more successful methods to match new recruits with the best military occupational specialty and improving tests to best decide the leadership potential of its soldiers. I think what this is really doing is taking it to the next level and it's given us the opportunity to put the right person in the right skill um, to, to, to be successful. As our U.S. military gets leaner and recruits fewer service members, Members, matching the right soldier with the right occupational specialty grows increasingly important. And then the work every day that those soldiers do going out and talking to young men and women and engendering their commitment to change their their way of life in a lot of ways. Uh, it's a it's a strong it's a demanding task. We have been an all volunteer force now for 43 years. I would argue to some it's been an all recruited force for 43 years. Recruiters strive to pass on their own appreciation for the Army and what it's done for them. Generating that kind of enthusiasm is what keeps the Army supplied with the best soldiers and eventually future recruiters. You see the impact that you make in somebody's life when you take them from 17 to 18 year old child. To get the commitment for them to join the Army, they go to basic training, they come back, and they are a lot more mature than they were when they left. That, to me, is when the job satisfaction comes in.